Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Yellow Pages Scam channel. I just wanted to make a quick video on a topic that I wish I thought of two years ago when this began. And that is that no one actually uses the yellow pages. L like, let's think about this for a second. It's 2015. So, like, I've talked, I've talked to this in other videos, but I want to make a video just on this one topic on how no one uses the yellow pages. So it's 2015 and we are surrounded with technology and you know Google. We're surrounded by Google too and Google is so I don't have to tell you that it is insanely useful. You want to know anything, you just type it in Google. But my point is, no one uses phone books anymore. No one uses the actual, like, paper yellow pages. And even... This whole channel is mainly based on Yellow Pages online advertising. But for the fact of arguing against the actual phone book, no one uses a phone book anymore. If you want to know a number, you just look it up online. Because a phone book is just inconvenient. You want to know a number, you whip out your phone, you go on Google or whatever website you go to. And so, on the other hand, when we refer to online advertising, and the actual Yellow Pages website. That is just a secondary website. No one will ever take that extra step to go to. It's like, just type in what you want in Google. It's like, no one will ever take that extra step and type and type in Yellow Pages, go to their website, then look up what they want. For example, if someone wanted a plumber, they would just open up their internet browser and they would type in like plumber and then their area where they were <laughs> they would not type in yellow pages and then go to that their website and then type in plumber <laughs> that would like you would never think of it because that would just be a waste of time it's like a second step no one would ever take. Now, back to the actual phone book. And I have another argument on how the phone book is, or the yellow pages part of it, is completely useless. Well, not completely, but you know what I mean. Let's say 
you get your yearly phone book in the mail, which yeah, most people most people do. And most people most yellow pages comes with the phone book. You have the white pages and the yellow pages and I've seen some states have just a pure yellow pages, but for this example, let's just say you have a phone book with the yellow pages and you get it in, uh, it doesn't matter. Let's say you get it like now and we're not at this. Let's say you get it in the first of the year. So you get it in January or February, somewhere, somewhere around there. And you just toss it aside because, you know, you don't need it or anything. And let's say in November or even December or October, somewhere around there, you, something happens and you actually need to find something in the yellow pages. And you actually whip out the, you actually whip out the yellow pages and you look up what you want, whatever you, let's go back to a plumber, you need a plumber. So you look up a plumber in the yellow pages and you find the plumbing ads, whatever they look like. And here's my point to this whole scenario. Those ads are like 10, 11, 9 months old. So I don't have to tell you that those ads are not current anymore. So all the, the only thing that would be current on that ad is the phone number. If it says anything else, like, holy crap, that ad is nine months old. It's like, talk, this is like ancient history, living in the 80s and 90s. It's like, in this, in this day and age, we, society as a whole, demands the newest, latest, and greatest everything and you all know this is true so this is especially true with ads and advertising so advertisements in yellow pages you know it's really not worth it to advertise in the yellow pages because no one picks up a phone book and two, if you did, you'd be staring at nine, ten month old ads. Like, is that what you want to call? Like, I admit, I'm making it sound a bit worse than it is, but, you know, from a business standpoint, do you want to advertise to someone with a nine month old ad and from a consumer standpoint do you, do you want to go with someone where the ad is nine months old and you know let's say there's a, plum, a plumber and you have to pay this you ha something major happened like I don't know your basement flooded or something and you know it can't cost like big money to fix all the water damage and all that is so you want to be sure and positive that you are getting the best and you're not getting ripped off and you probably, you're probably not going to get all that information from a nine-month-old ad. 
chances are you're gonna go online and look up reviews on the company that you found so when push comes to shove you're gonna go online anyways because you're not going to drop you know a few thousand bucks or six thousand bucks however much it costs like just on a simple yellow page ad that is like nine months old but even still let's say you just got the phone book and it's like a brand new ad you're still going to go and read reviews on this on this company before you give them like this this massive amount of money to fix to unflood your basement because you you want it done right this is a big thing bottom line no one uses the yellow pages if you would like to learn more about the yellow pages scam and debt collection please check out the videos on my channel i hope you all have a great day thank you